when the house or flat is in need of general refurbishment, it is time to think about a new coat of paint for the walls. What may be the most fitting combination of colours, or is it better to paint everything white? Should it be an ordinary cheap product, or is it better to try the lime paint that is supposed to be so excellent? Let's ask the expert about the lime paint. As the name already implies, this type of paint consists mainly of lime, which is a natural material, strongly alkaline and therefore inhibiting mold. Due to the high pH value, the surface is disinfecting and fungicide. Therefore, mold spores cannot settle on the painted surface. Because of its natural ingredients, the paint leaves surfaces open to breathe and thus cares for a pleasant indoor climate. The lime, the white pigment, mineral fillers and water get mixed. And what did he say about the pH value? pH values reach from nil to 14. The acidic range is between nil and 6. The green neutral value is 7. And the pH values from 8 to 14 are basic or alkaline. The alkalinity of the lime paint is within this range. Therefore, mold spores cannot settle on the painted surface. Moreover, the paint is breathable. Let's ask the expert about this again. Breathable means that the paint is particularly open-poured and permeable. Walls painted with lime paint can thus regulate the humidity in the room and also absorb and emit heat. Humidity occurs where much water is used, e.g. in bathrooms or kitchens. It is the purely mineral composition of the paint that makes it breathable. And again, this is mainly because the paint consists only of purely mineral raw materials, namely lime, water and white pigment. Cover the furniture with a foil first, or move them to one side. Also mask the floor with a foil fixed with duct tape, or use a special fleece for the purpose. Then mask adjacent parts and walls, starting with a double tape on the ceiling, in order to thoroughly protect it from the paint, then the sides. All walls made of mineral materials, like plaster, concrete or clay, are suited to be coated with lime paint without further pre-treatment. However, also wallpapered walls or areas already painted with a common Desperian wall paint can be coated with lime paint. In these cases, a priming coat with plaster primer prepares the wall to be coated with lime paint. Now we return to our plastered wall and here we go. For the priming coat, the paint can be thinned with 20% of water and then be applied. First, paint the corners with a small roller or a brush but only those corners that are actually being worked at. Lime paints dry very quickly and therefore a uniform surface is best achieved if you start on one corner of the room, do one wall at a time and then proceed with the next one. The big areas are painted shortly after with a roller, evenly and wet on wet to avoid visible overlaps. This is best achieved by painting crossways first and then vertically from top to bottom. Let it dry for 12 hours. Of course, lime paint can also be tinted with a proper lime tinting base that is also manufactured from purely mineral raw materials. There are seven different colours available that can be painted as a full tone or applied in unlimited mixtures with the white lime paint. And as always, the motto is, live healthier and more beautiful with Auro.